Hey guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today we are doing a video in collaboration with Enor, I believe that's how you pronounce it. And we are going to be doing their mug press. Let's do a little review on the mug press. Once again, ignore the background. Y'all know I'm in the process of moving. Um, so anyways, first and foremost, I want to talk about the quality of this box. I don't know where they're getting their boxes from, but the box that this thing came in is what is the definition of high quality. This box is so good, I saved it. Normally, like, this kind of bulky stuff, I don't keep the box. But I said, mm. in this case, this box is so nice, I'm going to keep the box. Anyway, let's get into what's in the box. So they had this really high quality um, cutting mat. I thought it was two. This bad boy was so thick. No, baby, that's one. That is one you can do some cutting on, okay? That's how cutting boards need to be when you buy them little cheap silicone ones. And shout out to them for giving two gloves, okay? Baby, and it came with tape. Like, they're like, listen, all you need is the cup. And I asked them, I said, what do I need to provide? And they just said the cups. I didn't know they literally meant only the cup. Everything was in there. Everything, the gloves, the tape. Baby, we ready to rip and run. So let's go ahead and get this thing out the plastic. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm sorry, y'all. They were working on a roof and it scared the crap out of me. Anyways, I was very pleasantly surprised by the footprint of this. If you have like an OG mug press from like when this really got popping a year or two ago, they're, they take up a lot of space. This one is quite compact. They have it kind of, instead of having to get like the press like straight down when you look at it, they kind of got it flipped up 90 degrees, which actually is a great idea because it takes up less space, but you can do the same amount of pressing with it. So first and foremost, we're off to a great start. So, like I said, all they told me I had to do was provide the cup. Baby, here's the cup right here. Sublimation cup. You can get these from anywhere. I'll leave a link to some below if y'all got, like, if y'all want to know what I'm using or whatever. But what I found is they all, they're all pretty much the same. I personally like ones with straight edges on the bottom. Easier to press. But let's get into it. What am I doing right now? I'm adjusting around the cup. Please adjust your heat press with the cup in there cold do not turn this on and then try to do it y'all that's just not smart so we're going to go ahead and turn it on and we're going to go ahead and set our temperature so i like to this one was pretty intuitive um if you've seen the last video it was not intuitive this one was super intuitive you hit set which is the first button on the machine and you do the temperature you hit set sets the time and then you are ready to you hit set one more time it sets it in um, so yeah, so in case you're like, you saw a lesbian, you're like, girl, I'm not a t-shirt girl, but I'm watching. I appreciate you. But if you're not a t-shirt girl, be a mug girl. Okay. If you, if you're not ready for glitter tumblers and you got a little extra money to spend, get you a mug press. You can still get a lot done with it. Now, am I a glitter girl at the end of the day? Through and through. But baby, let's talk about these 3D designs. And so I've been seeing these and they have been blowing my mind because why they look like that? They're beautiful. <laughs> and it's just like. These look crazy. I don't know how they animate these. It's I don't know if it's the shadows. I don't know what it is, but they are beautiful. And I am so happy to be making one today because I see them all the time and I save them. But I actually have never made one. I just save them because I think they look so cool and so realistic. And they're just fun to look at. But honestly, I don't know if I was ever going to press one. But why not today? You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and I want to show you guys this little tool I got from Amazon. as well. I've been on Amazon a lot lately. I got to use my mama membership though because I canceled mine back in December. And so what this is, this is a mug measuring tape. And literally, so you can get accurate measure, measurements for when you go to make your DTF transfer on the computer. And I just make mine in Microsoft Word. That has worked best for me. I don't use GIMP or Photoshop or none of that, baby. I copy and paste a picture right into Microsoft Word, and that works great for me, okay? They are now banging on the roof. I hope you guys cannot hear that. Anyways, what you can do is you just loop it around the cup, and it tells you the exact, like this is like in 30 seconds, kind of exact measurement of the mug. Like, I'm sorry, I'm about to get distracted because, like, they didn't say they was coming to work on the roof today, so now I just got a little mad. Um, so anyway, let's get this taped up. I'm going to use their tape, of course. I couldn't find my scissors because, again, I am packing. My house is a mess. Um, but, yeah, really quick, want to speak to the quality of that tape, okay? Um, the tape was excellent. You know, that, like, the brown tape I got on the other side, like, it's a little flimsy, but it get the job done, you know what I mean? This tape is rigid. Let me tell you something, baby. They put in something in all their stuff because why is everything made so well? And I'm not even being dramatic because, you know me, I don't mind reading the company if I have to. But, like, even the tape had, like, body to it. Like, it was, like, thick. Like, they are banging direct. Sir, I am recording. Um, anyways, <laughs> the tape could stand up on its own, which was, like, great. 
I hope y'all, I really hope y'all don't hear that. And shout out to them for giving two gloves because like, how often do we reach in and realize we need to use our other hand to get the mug out, but we can't because we don't have a glove. So shout out to the proactive thinking of Enor with giving us two gloves and then making them both be like sided with the little silicone dots because that way we don't have to worry about which one is left and which one is right. Y'all, it's the little things. It's the little things that companies can do to get me to be a customer, okay? And it's stuff like that. So what I'm doing is I take it out, take it out. <laughs> I took it out, I flipped it, and I'm going to just press it for about 30 more seconds just to make sure we are getting everything covered. And now this is a little trick I also learned since my, tum my tumbling, sublimation tumbling journey has started. Press them bottoms for about 15 seconds so you don't get no ghosting, I believe is the correct word to use. And again, just flipping it, and I'm going to do that both on the top and the bottom. This is also why I like flat edge tumblers because um, they are much easier to press and to get make sure you don't have any ghosting so something else to be you know cognizant of so let's go ahead and take this off i am so excited because i told y'all i've i've seen these designs and i was like whoa look at that so this wasn't um, a seamless design and i was okay with that and i was aware of that before i did it but i am still super happy with how this looks it, like, it looks like it's paper on the cup like if you see this from across the room you're gonna be like whoa it's beautiful super happy with that so so let's keep on pressing <laughs> we're we're starting off really good let's keep going and so i had these um hog what was that a 15 ounce ceramics ceramics oh i'm about to say y'all know by now but y'all weren't on my patreon ceramic me and ceramics don't get along um and so but i'm gonna try it again i'm gonna keep trying until i figure out what i'm doing wrong and so i figured hey we got a new press why not try it and so always adjust your press um, before you turn that thing on, okay? You don't want to burn up the mug and you're not ready. I was having trouble getting it to close around my thing. And so I put the other one in there. I'm like, okay, it is quite bigger. So let me just run this thing all the way out and then I'll run it back down when I get the cup in there. And also one of the things I'm truly scared about when I do coffee mugs is I have cracked a handle on a coffee mug before, believe it or not. And like, I think I just got a little overzealous with like closing the press to the point where I, it just cracked. Like, and it didn't fall off, but it was very clearly cracked. So now I am always super careful when I am doing mugs. I make sure that I'm very comfortable where the mug needs to go when I close like these spring-loaded um, presses and all that kind of stuff because I do not want to compromise the integrity of that handle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And so in this video, we're gonna do this one that says, uh, treat yourself with kindness, I believe that's what it says. I can't read it backwards because I can't. And so we're going to do 365, 60 seconds. And you can see as soon as you pull that thing back, the, the timer starts to go. It doesn't wait till you have it all the way collapsed down. Um, and so again, being super cognizant of where that handle is. And so let's take it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slide it in. One more time because I touched it and I just didn't feel like it had a lot of heat on it. Um, and I don't know if that speaks to the quality of the gloves, like why I can't feel like it being like ultra hot. But like normally when you pull a like a like a metal tumbler out, that thing is hot. Now ceramics dissipates heat differently. We all know that. We understand that. You know, science. But I just I felt like it wasn't hot enough for me to pull it out. So I'm gonna press this thing for another full 60. And again, just giving it some more pressure. Cause like, you know, if you can apply that pressure, apply that pressure, okay? I've never heard of too much pressure in sublimation. I could, that could be a thing, but I've, it's been fine for me just up to this point. All right, so let's go ahead and get this off. Be always be careful when you're using dangerous methods to take off, you know, tape like an X-Acto knife because you could scratch the cup, and that's not what we want to do. So I have to keep talking because the people are above me banging on the roof, and I don't want y'all to hear it. Okay, so I went to go take it off, and... You can see it did not transfer well. Ceramic cups and sublimation are my enemy. So I didn't, so to keep it in place, I kept that last piece of tape in place. I retaped it and now I'm going to um, repress it. And like, I felt like it needed more pressure, but you can see now I feel like I can't close the press. Like, and all this is not Enor's press problem. It's a Monica problem because I struggle. This is, listen, we talk, I'm not going to come in here in front on you guys. Like I know what I'm doing all the time. I don't, but this is how we get through the trials and tribulations, right? And so I had to back them out a little bit and then put them down. At this point, the sun started to go down. Excuse the change in color. You know, sunset, they happen. 
And so you can see that it's giving very vintage, very, the color is coming off. We've had it for 10 years, but she's a good mug. The mug is in great shape. As you can see the image, not so much, but mama loved this mug. This mug is to stay. She lives here because my mom doesn't want to let her go. Okay. That's what the mug is giving. I didn't like that. The next morning I woke up, I said, you know what? We're going to do this again. So you can see how the image is kind of like gray. Sublimation transfers look kind of grayish um, before you apply that heat. I was determined to get this right. I am ai can do glass mugs. One thing I know I can do is press a glass mug. I'm very comfortable with glass mugs because I can see through them, okay? When you can see through something and you can verify if your results are good or not, you become very confident. So I was very confident in this. And so... You can see, like, this is from a previous video, but you can see how much of that color has come off of the one on the left and how much color is left on that one on the right. That is user error. So what we're trying to do is get to a point where the, this one that we're going to press on the mug looks like the one looked on the left. We want it to look gray. So when you can, the good thing about glass, you can look through, you can see it's still gray. And I'm like, again, y'all see I'm touching it with my hand because I'm like, is it is it hot? Is it the press? Like, what is going on? I'm like, it's it got heat to it. It's me. It's something. It's something I'm doing because... I don't know. And so what I decided to do, I said, okay, let's get sciency on them. What can I do differently? And so I decided to move the cup towards the end of the press. I don't exactly know why I chose to do that, but I just felt like it could collapse better <laughs> around the cup. Um, and so that's what I decided to do. So this is what it looks like. Now you can see that color and that vibrancy is starting to come through. But if you can tell on the bottom, you couldn't tell because I'm good. I'm going to tell you on the bottom of the design, it wasn't as vibrant. And so I stuck it in the other side to get that bottom to get that. And now look how vibrant that is. That is what we want when we press. So again, that validates that, you know, I don't have to come on here and read E North for Filth about their press, that it was a Monica issue and not a mug press issue. The equipment works great. FYI. Um, so yeah. So me and ceramics, we'll get there. But right now we'll stick with glass because look how beautiful that is. I love it. Like look how much of that color came off. That is what we want it to look like when we are pressing DTF on glass. Perfect, beautiful, excellent. So yeah, I enjoy using this mug press. It gets the job done. Like I said, I enjoy that it has a smaller footprint. And shout out to the companies that give the girl the supplies that they need to do the job. I didn't have to go out and buy no gloves. Baby, I didn't have to go out and buy no tape. It was all right here. And that's why I had to put it in. That's why I had to put in the last shot. Shout out to this beautiful 3D tumbler. Let me know where y'all getting the 3D tumbler design. I got this off Facebook. But um, yeah, let me know where y'all getting them from. But I think these are gorgeous. I would definitely want to do one with flowers. Like this one's like papery but they're, they're also beautiful everything came out so nice everything looks so professional i'm super satisfied so thank you to enor for collabing with me on this video um i will leave a link to where you can purchase this set below so leave any comments questions below and thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one